Well, Beijing and its neighboring regions have been smothered by smog for more than a week. November 15th marks Beijing's official start of public heating to households, and there are worries that this will increase the air pollution even more. But that might not be the case this year. CCTV's Jane Xiao tells you why. It's a newly built plant that pumps hot water in East Beijing. And it's part of the capital's project to totally replace coal with natural gas, which can produce less air pollution for heating within the city. We officially opened the valve early this morning to help provide heating for the entire city network. The water is currently 90 degrees centigrade, and we'll adjust the temperature according to the weather. And it's not just an energy overhaul, but a brand new working environment as well. In the former coal burning plant, it was a tough job for the operators. Coal powders and dust fell on your face every day, and your masks would get black every day. Now we don't even have to wear masks. It's all automated, with almost no manual work. So the staff has been cut down to 199 from about 1,000. And the same work is also being done in the nearby city of Tianjin. Where dozens of boilers were upgraded. 47 boilers have been changed to natural gas. One was switched to geothermal heating. The central urban area of Tianjin can now provide heating without burning coal. 91 percent of households are covered by public heating in Tianjin. Pretty warm. The 20-ton diesel vehicle that transports coal is gone. Pretty clean now. It's a new crucial step in the fight for clear skies. Jingchao, CCTV.